did you know Wells has more than 30,000 part numbers? Now that was one heck of an obstacle course. I'm Sergeant Tech, your lead drivability instructor. Today we'll recon a system that can have a huge effect on the environment and your business. So you pay attention. One of the most important and troublesome systems on a vehicle today involves the exhaust system. Do you know what system that is, people? You there. It's the exhaust gas recirculation system, sir, otherwise known as EGR. Ooh, outstanding, son. Okay, now back in the 60s, people started getting concerned about harmful emissions in the environment. And before too long, it was discovered that when high temperatures, like the short duration peak temperatures that are created near the end of the combustion process, are combined with oxygen and nitrogen, something called NOx, or oxides of nitrogen, are formed. The bad news, when NOx reacts in the atmosphere with water, oxygen, and the other chemicals normally found up yonder, acid rain forms. Contrary to popular belief, EGR actually helps the engine run better. Lower peak combustion temperatures not only reduces NOx, that's NOx, that's N-O-X, it also reduces the loss of thermal energy to combustion chamber surfaces leaving more available conversion to mechanical load. Now that means more power to the engine, son. You got it? The solution is pretty simple. Keep the cylinder combustion temperatures below 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. By precisely recirculating the exhaust gases back into the engine's combustion chamber, it acts like a fire extinguisher to cool the process temperature. The heart of the system, of course, is the EGR valve itself, and the way it works can vary from strictly vacuum to a combination of vacuum and back pressure, while later models are digital. But no matter what type of EGR system is on the vehicle, it's important that it's operating correctly. And today in many parts of the country, my friends, it's the law. I'm going to focus this discussion on one of the most problematic EGR systems on the road today, Ford's DPFE. In fact, it's the number one topic on our tech service lines when it comes to EGR system repair. So let's get to it, okay? The components include the EGR valve, the EGR vacuum regulator, the DPFE sensor, which stands for Delta Pressure Feedback EGR, and the PCM, or Powertrain Control Module. Now, here's how it all works. The PCM on 1996 and newer vehicles monitors and controls the whole operation. When the vehicle makes a quick acceleration or reaches cruising speed, the PCM tells the EGR vacuum regulator when it's time to recirculate and how long to recirculate. The regulator sends vacuum to the EGR and the valve opens, which allows a portion of the exhaust gases available to flow back into the combustion chamber via the intake manifold. And the DPFE sensor monitors the operation. Now isn't that something? Remember, DPFE stands for Delta Pressure Feedback. Delta is a Greek word that translates to change in, which means they could have called it the change in pressure feedback EGR sensor. I like Delta personally. It's got a good ring to it. The DPFE sensor has two pressure lines connected to it. Both lines are connected to the EGR passage, and between them is an orifice or small hole. The DPFE reads both pressures simultaneously, that means at the same time, to determine the differential or change between the two. If the pressure differential on both sides of the orifice falls within the OE specifications, the DPFE sensor sends a signal of at least 1.5 volts to the PCM. 
The PCM sees the signal and knows that everything is in normal operating mode. But if the differential is outside of spec and that signal falls to below 1.5 volts, the PCM knows there's trouble and it stores a pending trouble code. If a similar problem occurs on the next trip, the malfunction indicator lamp or mill will illuminate and a trouble code will be stored. These trouble codes include P0400 and P0401, which mean insufficient EGR flow. P0402 means excessive EGR flow. And P1408 is either insufficient or excessive EGR flow. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of things that can go wrong and create a problem with the EGR system, but in most cases, it can come down to a pretty simple solution. Blockage. All it takes is a small obstruction to alter the pressure differential. Carbon deposits are a byproduct of this entire process and are often the enemy. Now here's a photo of a carbon deposit that set off the alarm. Isn't that something? You can hardly see it's there, but it caused a whole world of hurt. Now the technician working on this vehicle ran a whole battery of tests on the EGR valve, the regulator, the DPFE, and even the PCM before he discovered this small piece of carbon was disrupting the entire operation. So when one of your customers, whether it's a, oh, a technician or even a do-it-yourselfer, has a problem with their EGR system, make sure they checked all of the pathways for carbon deposit buildup and have thoroughly cleaned them out. Remember, people. Just a tiny piece of carbon can cause a never-ending problem. And now that we know how it works, let's talk about the solution. And the first step, my good friends, is to recommend using a Wells EGR valve to solve the problem. Why should you feel confident recommending Wells? Because Wells EGR valves go through a battery of tests, including life cycle tests that ensure accurate performance and extended service life, and vacuum tests that ensure the valve is 100% functional and accurate. A computerized testing station simulates the PCM and operates the EGR to make sure everything is just right before it comes to you. Aha, but that ain't all. We make sure every single airflow pattern matches the original equipment manufacturer. And we make critical components out of stainless steel because it eliminates corrosion and it improves performance. Yes, it does. Where the original diaphragms are known to have a high failure rate, we utilize fluorosilicone rubber. Now that's a specially formulated rubber to provide superior heat resistance. Now, in addition, we coat all of our digital EGR valve internal sleeves with Teflon to provide superior wear resistance. Did you hear me? These are the reasons most original components fail, and we fixed them. There's one other component of the EGR system that I want to talk about, and it's a real important solution to the number one problem. The Delta Pressure Feedback EGR Sensor. Weld's DPFE sensors solve all of the problems, and let me tell you why. Let's take a real close-up look inside the component. Here, we find precision, state-of-the-art, laser trim technology, not to mention a Weld's exclusive design that protects the pressure sensor from extremely corrosive exhaust gases. <laughs> so listen here to old techie, folks. When your customers want to do the job right the first time, do them a favor. 
Tell them to rely on Wells. See you next time when we get the EVAP business back. Woo!